So, what we have here today is a quick and dirty video for the OnePlus 5T and the Google Pixel XL. This is going to be one of those videos where I test to see what is faster in pretty much everyday usage, doing your phone apps, doing your text messaging, opening and taking a quick picture, things like that. We're not going to be using stopwatches or any fancy technology. It's just going to be a good old quick video. So spec rundown real quick. They both have a Snapdragon 835s. They both are new 18 by 9 aspect ratios. The Pixel has 4 gigabytes of RAM and IP67 water resistance, no headphone jack, and a single camera with fingerprint sensor on the back. The OnePlus has internal storage of 128 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and two camera lenses on the back with a fingerprint sensor. Their camera lenses are both the same megapixel. They do the same thing, except one is tuned for low light to help with its photography, and Google relies on AI to make its pictures better. So other than that, these phones are very similar, both USB-C, both have very highly passionate audiences. This was released in November. This was released around September, October. They're both very new, so they should have no problem. I'm going to clear out all the apps on both of these devices, and we're going to get right to it. So this is going to just to be safe and see what apps load the quickest. Uh, my prediction is they're going to be fairly equal, but I'm probably going to say the OnePlus is going to take it just because of the more RAM and the faster animations. So let's see. OnePlus had the phone, OnePlus had the texts, Pixel, barely beat it out for the Play Store. Let's do Chrome, about the same. Let's do some Gmail. One, The Pixel had that. Let's do Maps. The Pixel had that also. Let's load up the camera. Uh, being that I couldn't actually see what was going on, let's uh, close these apps again and try to do that camera. Lift it up a little bit so we get some, uh, so we can see here. Three, two, one. I'd say the OnePlus had it. Uh, let's go over to some other apps. Let's do the clock. OnePlus. Let's do the calculator. About even. So I think really it's going to be a lot of apps are going to open faster on this just because of that little bit of extra RAM. But the app isn't going to probably run too much better with the extra RAM because only some apps are going to utilize it. I'd say a lot of the, I wouldn't call lag, but the slowness of the Pixel XL com comparison is due to the animation speed. Uh, that is a little more uh, creative animation than the OnePlus. I feel like the OnePlus just went into their developer options and sped it up. Uh, if you look at the Geekbench score for both of these phones, the OnePlus does have a faster Geekbench, which I ran earlier. I'm not going to sit here and have it do it on camera. Uh, but if you can see, the OnePlus had a single core of 1969 compared to the Pixel's 1886. And the multi-core score on the OnePlus was 6,657, and on the Pixel was 6,364. It's about 300 points different on multi-core and under about 80 points on the single core. Now, I haven't heard any discrepancy with OnePlus yet about their tweaking of benchmarks before they did um, come out and say that when they ran benchmarks like Antutu, Geekbench, all those, they actually had it in the phone so that it used all of its power to run that benchmark. So it kind of had skewed scores because when you don't open regular apps, your, your CPU is not going to throttle all the way up just to open your phone app. It's just not how it's going to be. Um, I haven't heard anything about it, so we're going to say that it's not there. So this phone is definitely faster in benchmarks-wise and in a lot of just opening and closing apps. I don't know what I would actually consider as faster day-to-day. -day. I mean, I guess if you're just opening normal stuff, it's going to be very, very close because they're both – it's a mixed bag. You know, Pixel is faster on some. OnePlus is faster on the other. This is definitely more expensive than this. 
So some other differences with the phones. This has a higher resolution display. This has a 1080p display. They both are 18 by 9, but OnePlus goes to 1080p for sake of battery life. And Google Pixel has a more high def display just to kind of keep on par with other flagships, use VR, things of that nature. It doesn't mean that the OnePlus's display is bad. Actually, it's very good. It's very punchy colors, good viewing angles, doesn't suffer from that jello effect scrolling as the OnePlus 5 did. So it is very nice, and most of the time you're not even going to notice the difference between 1080p and the higher resolution, only in certain things. Moving to the camera, uh, I was reading an article on Android Authority today saying that the OnePlus 5T, they rated as one of the best cameras of 2017, and to be honest, I can't wholeheartedly agree. I could say it's the best camera for $500 but I couldn't say it's the best camera on a smartphone you can buy because I really think the Pixel, as long as in my experience is concerned, shoots overall better more often than not. If you're just going out, taking a quick point and shoot, blam, I would have this one in my pocket over this one. You can take amazing photos and great lighting with this OnePlus 5T, but I think you can take more often than not better ones with the Pixel. Just my preference. Uh, I do want to post eventually camera samples from both in the same situation. I just think the clarity, the detail, things like that are much better on the Pixel. That is just one man's opinion. Uh, I want to talk about the fingerprint sensors real quick. So OnePlus moved theirs to the back. The Pixel had the one on the back before. They have it there again now. So let's uh, see what is faster. Ready in three, two, one. Definitely the OnePlus. We'll do it again just to be on the safe side. Three, two, one. I mean, the OnePlus is worlds faster than the Pixel. Again, I think a lot of it has to do with the animation, but they've always had a very fast fingerprint sensor on the front of the camera they did, or on the front of the screen they did, as well as on the back. It is, as soon as you feel the vibration done, your phone is open. So that's pretty fantastic. It does have face unlock, which is also amazingly quick. The Pixel does not. Or if it does, it's just the normal one that's built into Android. This is one that OnePlus kind of showed off a little bit. Um, other than that, you know, these phones are very comparable. I can say if you're looking for a great phone that's also cost effective, that's going to check most often than not most of the boxes on your list, go with the OnePlus 5T. It's cheaper. But if you're on Verizon in the here in the U.S. and you want the Pixel, there might be some carrier deals which help you. You know, you can finance this phone or this phone you have to buy directly from OnePlus. You can't go to AT&T and pick it up. Um, the Pixel does work on all four U.S. carriers. The OnePlus only works on AT&T and T-Mobile. Um, both don't have micro SD card slots. Both have quick charging, but the OnePlus is certainly faster than the Pixel. Um, really, speakers, you have dual front-facing speakers on the Pixel. You have the bottom-firing one on the OnePlus 5T. Both sound good. This is obviously going to be louder, but really... It's going to come down to what you're going to use the phone for most. If you're going to take a lot of photos and videos with your phone and that's your primary use and you want to make sure you have a great phone for that, I would go Pixel. But if you're looking to save or you buy phones a lot or you want to change here and there and you don't necessarily focus on photography, OnePlus will not let you down. It's a great phone. Uh, they just keep getting better and better. Company support is getting better. And I don't think that would let you down either especially if you are on AT&T or T-Mobile here in the U.S. Fortunately, it does not support Sprint and Verizon. I don't honestly foresee that happening much in the future, but uh, hey, you never know. So anyway, this was my quick and uh, dirty speed test on both of these phones. They're both amazingly fast. They're both flagships in their own right, and they both hold some accolades for being the fastest in a lot of areas. Um, I would probably pick the Pixel just because I take a lot of photos. But I wouldn't uh, be ashamed to have the OnePlus in my pocket either. Again, this is Jared from TechWorks giving you the lowdown on two great, fantastic phones from 2017. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Put it on Facebook. Put it at work. Share it with your coworkers. Uh, just get it out there. Um, and we will see you again in the next video.